Here are the basics. The initial ball handler, player A, can pass to player D while cutting to the right corner. Or if the defense blocks that lane, pass to player E while cutting to the left corner. Then B sets a screen for D so he can swing around to the low post while E passes to C. The result is a triangle of players. From here, the ball can move to the corner, the post, or can be swung around the arc to create a new triangle. Our question is, when the triangle offense works, why is it so successful? First, movement. The triangle relies on constant movement of not just the ball, but the players without the ball. A 30 mile an hour pass travels 15 feet in about a third of a second, three times faster than a player on the run. Second, space. Ideally, players are spread 15 to 20 feet apart. This keeps passing lanes and cutting lanes open. And any double teaming means that a defender moves at least 15 feet away from his assignment. This benefits a shooter because when a player is playing tight D within three feet of the offensive player, the expected shooting percentage decreases by approximately 12 percentage points. Finally, versatility. Ideally in the triangle offense, any player can pass or shoot at any time. So consider the mathematical possibilities. The maximum flight time of a long pass, 45 feet cross court at about 30 miles per hour, is roughly one second. The fastest a player can catch a pass and get a shot off is 22 hundredths of a second, as recorded by Jason Capono in the Sports Science Lab. Now factoring in those variables, when all cylinders are firing in the triangle offense, in theory, over the course of five seconds, there are at least 340 different shot opportunities. There are two sides to most arguments about the success of the triangle. Is it the system or the players? On the one hand, Phil Jackson's system has won 11 of the last 20 NBA championships. On the other, his teams featured players like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkins.